Trying to figure out what I need to bring on this trip. Do you guys ever use one of these things as your weights? It's cheaper than lead. Hey guys, how about we go on the El Dorado out of Long Beach and do a little rock fishing? It's my buddy Adrian's birthday, and I can't find a better birthday present than to hang out with the crew and go to San Nicolas on an overnight and take this guy out, Andrew, for his first time as well on the party boats. So let's uh, pack up. Let's get on the boat. It's about 8 o'clock in the evening. We're launching off, and uh, in the morning we'll get fishing. crew had some live squid on this trip, which you know means the rockfish are going to be biting like mad. So it was getting exciting. Just set up my rig, tried a couple of different things, <laughs> made a lot of mistakes on this trip. But I like to use the diamond jig at the bottom of my newel reel and then above it, throw on a dropper loop with a, another hook and so I can have, you know, hopefully the double bites. Here's something that I did learn that I didn't know is that if you are using a jig at the bottom, don't hang with the crowd. The reason being is that if you snag on the bottom, the boat is drifting away from you and you'll never have a chance to get that jig back because they'll just really dig into the hook and you can't really like bounce it. So that's why you wanna go away from the crowd so that you can cast up upstream from the boat so that if you do get snagged, you have a little bit of time to kind of release your line and kind of try to get it off before the boat passes you by. My buddy Ricky also gave me the advice that if you are going to get into jig fishing, you're going to lose jigs. So that's just par for the course. You have to learn. And so you have to be patient. And that's what I'm being, you know? If I lose a couple in the year and I get better, that's all that really matters. But after, you know, having not so much luck in the beginning with that jig, I decided to go for the double dropper loop. And I wanted to try this reel that my buddy got. It's the Pen Fathom 2 25N. I fell in love with this reel. This reel is super smooth. It can work for fish up to tunas under like 50 or 60 pounds but for rockfish i thought it was a great reel super light and powerful and after a little bit of time i decided to grab some coffee to wake up because it was bright and early in the morning the first spot wasn't that great but the next spots were really awesome for you on the channel bam 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 bam
Oh, side hooked ya in the gill. And now I just got a tiny little piece of crap. fishing trip is complete without getting something from the galley super delicious burger and I had the burrito as well you know just kept me kept me going kept me going Get some ice. I work on the house and I don't have time to fillet these fish. Let's go inside. All right, we have a successful trip. I gotta run and work on my house, but I got some ice and Vons. Put an ice pack down below. I'm using one of these Trader Joe's bags and a trash bag. I'm gonna stuff some fish in here and then put some ice and put it in both of these and then deal with the whole filleting tomorrow. I just had them gut, gut it in and uh, take out the gills and do it myself. All right, so we just got back, put the uh, fish in the two coolers and close them up and then deal with it in the morning. I'm going to, I just had the crew uh, gut and gill the fish and I like to do the whole filleting myself. Then I can save some of the heads, I could put some in the compost, I could make some into stock and I'm gonna take some to friends and family because we're going to go up to Joshua Tree in the morning. So I gotta do the wake up early, do this, but right now I gotta go work on the house. And it's just been back to back to back to back, everything going on today. But overall, El Dorado crew, superb this trip. I took home limits, so good stuff. The following day, we went out to Joshua Tree, my family and I, after we got COVID tested, and it was my cousin's birthday, the big three zero. So I brought him over some of this rockfish, we cooked it up, made some delicious tacos, and had a great time. Thanks guys for following along. I hope you have a chance to get out on the El Dorado. Thanks to the crew for being awesome as always. Check out some of these other videos that I think you might like. Until next time guys, see ya.